are various uh, exogenous and endogenous stimuli can cause inflammation. Can cause inflammation is hypoxia, hypoxia, and physical agents, chemical agents, uh, and uh, uh, infection agents immunological reactions, genetic disarrangements, and nutritional imbalances. Nutritional imbalances. This is cause of acute inflammation. The inflammatory response occurs uh, in the vascularized uh, connective tissue, including plasma, circulating cells, blood vessels, and cellular and extracellular constituents of connective tissue. The circulating cells include uh, neutrophils, monocytes, eosinophils, lymphocytes, basophils, and platelets. The connective tissue cells are the mast cells which uh, intimately surround blood vessels and the connective tissue fibroblasts and occasional resident macrophages and lymphocytes. Inflammation is divided into acute and chronic patterns. Acute inflammation is of relatively short duration, less than four minutes, uh, several hours or a few days, minutes or few days. And its main characteristics are the exudation of fluid and plasma proteins, edema. This is edema. And uh, acute inflammation characterized by uh, emigration of leukocytes, predominantly neutrophils, predominantly neutrophils. Uh, acute inflammation has three major components, alteration in vascular caliber and the lead uh, to an increase in blood flow and structural change uh, in the microvasculated uh, uh, that permit the plasma proteins and lymphocytes to leave the circulation and immigration uh, to the of the leukocytes from the microcirculation. Micro uh, okay, one minute, please. Okay. Uh, electron micrograph pinocytosis in the one minute, please. Inocytosis in the endothelial cell in acute inflammation. The endothelial cell, endothelial cell cytoplasm contains pinotic vesicles. This is pinotic vesicles. This is the main vesicles number. Uh, the uptake of soluble small macromolecules uh, in called pinocytosis. pinocytosis. Uh, the vesicles are found uh, of the luminal part of cells. Luminal part of the cells. Okay, next slide. This is an electron micrograph on neutrophil immigration in acute inflammation. The active neutrophils, this is this is neutrophils, neutrophils. Uh, passes between endothelial cells. This is endothelial cells. This is endothelial cells. And the leukocytes passes between one and two endothelial cells, uh, junction with the help of its pseudopods. Okay, now, gross fibrinose colleagues. Uh, Acute inflammation, acute inflammation characterized by uh, varieties. The general response of injury is uh, modified uh, according to the tissue and the nature of the injurious agent results uh, uh, in several uh, types of inflammation. Uh, Serous inflammation is formation of a protein-rich fluid exudate uh, with minor uh, cellular exudation uh, and synovids and peritonids. Fibrinose inflammation, fibrinose inflammation, uh, for example, fibrinose codes, fibrinose inflammation, uh, exudate contains abundant fibrinogen. 
which is precipitated as a thick fibrin coitin, uh, for example, pericarditis and colitis. Um, fibrinose information, uh, we can uh, divide it uh, for two types, cupose and diphtericum, cupose and diphtericum. So purative inflammation is diffuse, phlegmon and abscess, abscess. and hemorrhagic inflammation and cataract inflammation. Fibrinose colitis, fibrinose colitis, gross fibrinose colitis. Uh, appearance greasy, appearance greasy, color gray, color gray, thickness thick, thick, and adhesion to the underlying tissue, permanent, steady, and adhesion. Light fibrinose colors, uh, stain of uh, hemotoxidine and resin. This is page number 72, page number 72, picture number 47, picture number 47. This is number one, fibrinose pseudomembranes. Fibrinose pseudomembranes. This is number one, fibrinose pseudomembranes. One, A, A. Necrotic masses. This is necrotic masses. This is all necrotic masses. Number one A. One B. One B. Fibrin. One B. Fibrin. This is. This is. Oh, okay. This is fibers of fibrin. Fibers of fibrin. One B. This. 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 This is fiber. And uh, one C, neutrophils. This is cells, neutrophils. This is cells, neutrophils. Okay, one minute, please. Okay. Neutrophils. This is cells, neutrophils. And number two, and number two, blood vessels. This is blood vessels. Okay. Number one, pseudomembranes. membranes, pseudo membranes, fibrinous pseudo membranes. Number one. One A, necrotic masses. This is all necrotic masses. One B, fibrins, fibrin, fibers of fibrin. And one C, this is cells, neutrophils, neutrophils. Neutrophils are cells of acute inflammation and b blood vessels blood vessels and two number two blood vessels sorry number two blood vessels next slide next slide gross fibrinose pericarditis fibrinose pericarditis the surface of pericardium covered uh, in fibrin covered in fibrin. This is fibers of fibrin. This is fibers of fibrin. And figurative name, figurative name, hairy hut, hair, hair, hairy hut. Okay. This is hairy, fibers of fibrin. Uh, we can see uh, as uh, hair, hair of uh, our head, hair of our head, hairy head. Slice global, global pneumonia, stage of gray hepatization, stage of gray hepatization. Uh, page number 73, picture number 48, picture number 48. Uh, number one, number one. Fibrinose exudate in lumen of alveoli. Fibrinose exudate in lumen of alveoli. This is alveoles. This is alveoli. This is alveoli. One, two, and three. Alveoli. And in the alveoli, we can see exudate. We can see exudate. This is 
alveoli 1, alveoli 2, alveoli 3, alveoli fragment. 3 of fragment of 3 alveoli. Uh, and alveoli. Fibrinose exudate in women, uh, alveoli. Uh, number 1, A, fibrin. Number 1, A, fibrin. This is fibers. This is fibers of fibrin. This is fibers of fibrin. Number one, B, neutrophils. Two, neutrophils uh, in acute inflammation. Neutrophils uh, are main cells of acute inflammation. This is neutrophils. This is neutrophils. This is one B, neutrophils. And one C, macrophages. One C, macrophages. This is macrophages. This is a uh, big cell. These macrophages. And number two, alveolar septa. Alveolar septa. This is septum. This is septa between two alveolar. This is septa. Okay, number one, A, number one, fibrinose exudate. Number one, fibrinose exudate in lumen of alveoli. Number one, alveoli. One alveoli, two, three. One A, fibrin. Fibers of fibrin. This is fibers of fibrin. One B, neutrophils. These cells, neutrophils. And one C, macrophages. This is big cells of macrophages. And number two, alveolar septa. Septa between uh, two alveolar. Okay, next. Eugenic leptomeningitis. Okay, color green, yellowish. This is focus. This is focus. Green, yellowish color. And thickness, mass. Thickness. Slide, page number 74, page number 74, picture number 49, picture number 49. Number one, number one, leptomenix, neutrophils infiltrate. This is neutrophils infiltrate in the leptomenix, in the leptomenix. This is neutrophils. Neutrophils uh, is main cells of acute inflammation. Neutrophils is main, are main cells uh, of acute inflammation. Number one, leptomenix and uh, neutrophils uh, infiltrate. Number two, tissue lysis. Number two, tissue lysis. Number two, tissue lysis. Uh, this is all, all tissue lysis, neutrophils, uh, cause, uh, causes uh, of uh, tissue lysis uh, by uh, cytokines, by cytokines, tissue lysis. Number three, exudate in subarachnoid space. Number three, this is exudate of acute inflammation. We can see in the subarachnoid spaces. Subarachnoid spaces. This is number three. And number four. Number four. This is tissue of brain. And number four. Tissue brain edema. Brain edema. Brain edema. This is... Uh, Neurons, neurons. This is neurons. This is tissue brain and brain edema. Brain edema. Okay, number one. Number one, leptomanning neutrophil infiltration. Number two, tissue lysis. Number two, tissue lysis. Number three, exudate in subarachnoid space. Number three, exudate of subarachnoid space. And number four, brain edema. Number four, brain edema. Next, 
grow symbolic pigeons uh, kidney kidney appearance and large and large uh, size increased size increased consistent soft consistent soft soft four side this is number multiply four side multiply four side this is big one and two and multiply small four side four side localization cortex localization cortex maybe in the medulla maybe uh, now we can see localization of foci in the cortex number number multiply multiply size one to three millimeters one to three millimeters multiply one to three millimeters maybe to the two centimeters yes maybe two centimeters uh, but we can see uh, multiply uh, yeah, size uh, one two three millimeters color yellowish color yellowish this is uh, exudate uh, consists uh, of uh, neutrophils neutrophils uh, and uh, we can see uh, color yellow yellowish color shape round shape round Slide. page number 75 page number 75 picture number 50 picture number 50 number one number one neutrophil infiltration this is abscesses abscess this is abscess and this abscess abscess consists of neutrophils and it is neutrophils infiltration, neutrophils infiltration. This is neutrophil cells, neutrophil. Number two, microbial embolus, microbial embolus. This is, this is micro, microbial embolus. This is microbial embolus, number two. Number three, Number three, tissue lysis, tissue lysis. This is tissue lysis. Uh, neutrophils caused tissue lysis uh, by uh, cytokines, by cytokines. Tissue lysis. And number four, perifocal inflammation. Number four, perifocal inflammation. Number four. This is perifocal inflammation. This is four side. This is four side and perifocal inflammation. Okay, number one, neutrophils infiltration. This is neutrophils infiltration, number one. Number two, microbial embolus. This is microbial embolus. Number three, tissue lysis, tissue lysis. This is tissue lysis. And number four, perifocal inflammation. Number four, perifocal inflammation. Perifocal inflammation. This is uh, oh, I forget. <laughs> this is a uh, tissue of uh, kidney, tissue of kidney, and perifocal inflammation. This is a slide. In the slide, we can see perifocal inflammation. Perifocal inflammation. This is focal abscess, abscess, and this is perifocal inflammation. And gross catarrhal. Catarrhal gastritis, catarrhal gastritis, mucose, color reddish, color reddish, thickness, increased, thick, thick, and surface covered in abundant exudate rich in mucin. This is exudate rich in mucin, rich mucin. Catarrhal uh, inflammation is mucin inflammation, mucin inflammation. Okay, uh, case, case, case 25, case 25. 
uh, you read this case and questions. What is the diagnosis of this patient? This diagnosis, uh, number one, question number one, answer diphtheria. Answer diphtheria. From diphtheria, diagnosis diphtheria. Number two, question number two, what pathological anomalies uh, can be found in the throat? We can see pseudomembranous pharyngitis. Pseudomembranous pharyngitis. Number three. Number three. Describe the growth and histological appearance of the throat lesion. Throat lesion form replace normal mucosal membrane. Form replace normal mucosal membrane. Throat lesion. It's throat lesion. Firm replaced normal mucosal member. Number four. Number four. Describe the growth and histological appearance of the larynx lesions. Of, of the larynx lesions. Um, uh, we can see multilayer epithelium. Multilayer epithelium. And this epithelium maybe with uh, fibrinose tissue and uh, fibrinose uh, fibers. Fibrinose fibers. This is fibrinose inflammation. Fibrinose inflammation. This is type of acute inflammation. And number five, number five, what other variants of acute inflammation can develop in the lung? In the lung, we can see, uh, we can see hemorrhagic inflammation, uh, serous inflammation, fibrinous inflammation, and uh, we can see corpus tracheitis and bronchitis. Corpus bronchitis and corpus tracheitis. Okay. Case 26. Case 26. 26. Uh, you read this case. And questions number one, what organisms uh, commonly cause meningitis at this age? At this age. This is a uh, cause is Neisseria meningococcus. Neisseria meningococcus. We can see gram negative cocobacilli. Gram negative cocobacilli. This is Neisseria meningococcus. Nisseria meningitidis or Nisseria meningococcus, second name. Number two, question number two. What type of acute inflammation develops in acute meningitis? This is diffuse biogenic inflammation. Diffuse biogenic inflammation. Diffuse biogenic inflammation. And we uh, can open, we can open. Uh, gross uh, on uh, page number 73, gross pyogenic leptomeningitis. This is gross. And slide pyogenic leptomeningitis. Uh, we can open on page uh, 74. Okay. Uh, question number three Describe the pathological changes of the brain on gross inspection. Number three. Uh, vessels, blood vessels in subarachnoidal space, subarachnoidal space, uh, and brain edema, brain edema, and uh, neutrophils infiltrate in the leptomenix uh, and tissue lysis of leptomenix. It's all change uh, that we can. Uh, um, that we uh, described uh, in the slide by Jane Lepton Guides, picture number 49. Picture number 49. Uh, next, next question. Uh, what is the characteristic histological appearance of meningeal uh, lesion? Uh, main uh, characteristics uh, is diffuse infiltrate, diffuse infiltrate of neutrophils, of neutrophils. Neutrophils are main cells of acute inflammation, acute inflammation. It's um, in the acute inflammation, 
uh, neutrophils uh, we can see in acute inflammation. And number five, question number five, what are the possible outcomes and complications following acute meningitis? Uh, we can see uh, full resolution or sclerosis, full resolution or sclerosis, full resolution or sclerosis. Okay, and case number 20. Case number 26. You read this case and question. Question. Question number one. What is the most likely diagnosis for his initial symptoms? This is Kropos pneumonia. This is Kropos pneumonia. We can we can read cough and yellow green sputum and three weeks three weeks in a long time. And we can see abscess, abscess. Abscess is acute inflammation, is superlative acute inflammation. And we can see Kropos pneumonia or second name, lobar pneumonia. Uh, we can open, we can open picture number uh, 48, picture number 48. Is lobar pneumonia. Number two. Number two. Uh, what was the possible cause for the development of a chest infection in he, in this patient? Uh, increased uh, activity of neutrophils and macrophages. Neutrophils and macrophages. This is a possible cause of the. Uh, chest infection of the acute inflammation in uh, this case. Number three, describe the pathology changes in the lung. This is abscess uh, and, and uh, fibrin exudate, fibrin, neutrophils and macrophages in alveoli, in alveoli. And we can see uh, sclerosis in the uh, alveolar septa. In the alveolar septa. Number four. Number four. Uh, what other variants of acute inflammation can develop in the lung? Uh, we can see cirrhosis inflammation and hemorrhagic inflammation. Maybe uh, other types. Uh, and number five. What are the possible outcomes and complications following acute lung abscess? We can see MPM, MPM, chronic abscess, and amyloidosis, and amyloidosis. MPM, chronic abscess, and amyloidosis. I explained you uh, unit 11. And uh, now I will wait for every student uh, workbook unit 11 and test unit 11 uh, of acute inflammation. Uh, and uh, I will wait uh, today, tomorrow and all days of next, uh, next uh, week. Goodbye.